So I've really been enjoying the Klauswitz recently, and I'm really not sure why I was so disappointed in this ship to begin with. Maybe just that it didn't seem like that much of an upgrade over the Hindenburg, but since Hindenburg is a pretty solid all-around tier 10, not much is required to make a pretty solid super ship. Possibly it's just that Annapolis and Condi are so insane, but I gotta be honest, Klauswitz is pretty insane too, especially when it comes to its survivability. As far as open water tanking cruisers, this thing is very, very difficult to kill. I found that I'm able to just sit in front of battleships and farm away and really not worry all that much. Our deck armor is 50 millimeters, which is basically battleship armor, which is pretty insane. So at longer ranges, assuming we're angled, we're gonna be bouncing a ton of battleship salvos. And I've found that over time, people just kind of ignore this ship when they're in a battleship after a few shots. And then you just get to farm away. Even though the DPM isn't all that much higher than the Hindenburg, it's really, really nice to have a little bit of extra range here on the Klauswitz. And of course, the HE is slightly better on this ship as well, which does help it to farm a lot of these battleships at range. You're going to notice, of course, that we're going to get a ton of full pens with the HE. That's really a gimmick of the entire German line with HE, though, the quarter pen that we get. So it's like 53 millimeters of HE pen here. So Montana... Yeah, we're doing four to 5,000 damage with every HE salvo. And then we're gonna get fires on top of that. We, of course, are also running Luchins on this ship, so we're gonna get a nice reload buff from him as well in just a little bit. Bowswitz, though, really feels like old Hindenburg in a way to me, where it just is able to be that battleship Hindenburg kind of idea from long ago in the modern World of Warships game. Hindenburg, of course, does suffer a little bit more from all the 30 millimeter overmatch in the game when it came out it was very unique in that only the Yamato was able to overmatch the Hindenburg and that was really about it everything else had 406 millimeter guns and all the cruisers tended to have 27 millimeters of armor or less so Hindenburg was in this very special position where only one battleship was really able to overmatch it and it was really the only cruiser with that ability Klauswitz kind of brings that back a little bit. Of course, we have Moskva and Stalingrad and Petro and Napoli. There's a lot of ships that do have the armor to bounce battleship shells. But Klauswitz does bring the Hindenburg or German line back to that idea a little bit more. And I've really, really had a lot of fun with it. It does play very different than the other supercruisers. The gimmicks around the Annapolis and Condi are probably stronger than the Klauswitz. But just the sheer consistency of this ship, the amount of damage you can pump out in relatively short amounts of time is really, really nice. Here we're going to deal with this Hanover without too many issues. You can see again, just this ability to full pen most of our shells into a lot of these battleships with 50mm plating. It just stacks so much damage so quickly. As far as super ships, I really do like the design of Klauswitz a lot more. Even though it does seem on the surface a little bit weaker, I really am glad to see more of this idea. Tier 11 ships, not tier 12 or tier 12 plus where we get insane gimmicks on top of extra HP, extra DPM, extra range, extra shell velocity, all these things. Bowsets does feel like that more tier 11, and I'm hoping that as we go into the future, we get more of that. We've seen that a little bit with the upcoming destroyers, or the um, American and the Pan Asian lines. Those two feel a little bit more reasonable. Um, they're still pretty strong, don't get me wrong, but it is a little more reasonable than some of the extreme gimmicks that are on some of the early super ships. Maybe we'll see some nerfs to the super ships that came out initially. I wouldn't mind that, even though I do love playing my Satsuma and my Annapolis and my Condi. I think we can all agree the game would be a little bit more interesting or fun to play at higher tier if we didn't quite have that powerful of ships in the games every once in a while. And of course, when we're talking about balance changes, I'm just totally ignoring that carriers and subs exist. You all know my opinion on those, so I don't really want to get into that too hard here. Close wits, though, I really do enjoy. The AP is basically the same, though, unfortunately. As much as I love the Battleship Hindenburg playstyle of just this pocket battleship kind of idea in a cruiser form, 
and we are able to do some pretty nasty damage to light cruisers at range, assuming they're flat broadside. I was so hoping that the armor piercing on this ship would be buffed in some way. One of the main issues with German armor piercing on especially the cruisers here is that it's very light, so it loses a lot of pen at range, and it doesn't exactly have the best pen angles in the world either. So even though the damage and the alpha damage looks pretty good, and some of the pen seems all right on this ship, nothing really special on the pen in front of things either. I really wish it was a little bit better. As good as the HE is, and as you can see, we've been mostly spamming HE, we've been able to do an absolute ton of damage and really win this, or help win this flank for our team. I would have loved to see it have a little weaker HE even, and then give it some monstrous armor piercing. That's what I would have loved to see on this ship, honestly. That was always my hope for Hindenburg, if you're wondering, when they were buffing it all those years ago. It used to not have quarter pen, in case you guys didn't know. It did. You used to only pen 32 or whatever the normal 203 mm millimeter cruisers would pen. I was hoping so hard for some armor piercing buffs and make it a crazy battleship, mini battleship. Uh, but that didn't exactly happen. And the armor piercing's okay, right? We're hitting the superstructure of the Preussen. I know I can't pen his upper belt. And we're doing pretty good damage. There's our Kraken, which feels pretty good. 247k. Like I said, the damage is really solid on this ship. Nothing to be a massive issue with. Um, but there's a few things I would have loved to see on this ship. Mainly around that miniature battleship idea. And if the ship is angled enough or broadside enough, you still should use the armor piercing. But it does feel a little bit more like an HE spammer still most of the time against most of the heavily armored targets, I would say. As for if this ship is worth getting, well, that's really up to you guys. But I do think the Klauswitz is worth a look. I uh, very much do agree <laughs> that the Condi and Annapolis are probably stronger overall. Their gimmicks really are very, very powerful. And Klauswitz is a bit more vanilla. But if you've enjoyed Hindenburg in the past, and maybe you've been missing that Hindenburg playstyle of old, definitely go get yourself a Klauswitz. It feels like that old Hindenburg in the in the modern day, and I really like it. I've been surprised, actually, how much I've enjoyed it since I have bought it. But I know it probably isn't for everyone, so keep that in mind. These things are, of course, very, very expensive. I do recognize that as well, which is a little bit disappointing, but that is kind of the idea behind super ships, of course. Trying to remove some credits from the economy and force you into a premium account, probably. So 3k base XP and pretty insane amount of damage. Six kills even to carry this game out. As for the build, of course, we are using Luchins here, trying to maximize this ship's ability. Main battery reload is not very difficult to get on the German cruisers, and that what that's what makes Luchins so good on the cruisers, in my opinion. You can use them on the DDs as well, and even the battleships, but secondaries aren't the most useful thing in the world, especially at high tier these days. It's very, very difficult to push in without dying. But here's the build that I've gone with. We're definitely trying to tank as much as we can, maximize that survivability, because that is one of the massive strengths on this ship. And it's very, very difficult to kill, so that DPM can just sit there and wear down the enemy team very, very quickly. Concealment, of course. Adrenaline rush, of course. Even top grade gunner, trying to get a little bit of extra damage out. Um, but what's really nice on this ship is the extra range. Compared to Hindenburg, we get around a kilometer, or even maybe a little more extra range. And that is a pretty big deal. Hindenburg can sometimes feel like it needs that uh, range mod here, but with the Klauswitz, I've tried it with both. It's obviously very comfortable with range mod, but I do find reload bod is more than comfortable enough, and that extra reload feels really, really nice. You notice that I was constantly speed juking at even low speeds, just kite away, start to angle away, and then stop, slow down, reverse, and then move forward a little bit. With Propulsion Mod, that's a great way to dodge a lot of battleship salvos, especially given the extra armor that this ship has. Since, uh, yeah, that 50 mil plate, man, it's not gonna let any battleships through. It's pretty strong. Uh, of course, we do have 30 in other places, 27, but a pretty small target to hit at range. Oftentimes, especially at range with a lot more plunging fire at angles like this, yeah, you're, you're very, very tanky. So, Klauswitz, um, surprisingly enjoyable. I've actually ha been having a lot of fun with this ship for a while. I've had it for several weeks now, maybe even over a month, and I've been intending to make a video on it, 
we've just had a busy couple of weeks with uh, new announcements, right? So here we are finally taking a look at Klauswitz. And I think it's great, honestly. I really have had a lot of fun with this ship. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.